It all started with my love for country, roots, and blues type music of the South. And those southern sounds, to me, influence almost every genre of music that there is. I want to stay true to those things because it's so rich, the history and the heritage and the story of the artist. It's kind of like a well that I'm going to and I'm getting my inspiration from that place. So I thought that was a good place to start. <laughs> One day I was at a, um, walking through a market and a woman was like, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Tennessee. And she said, well, I was just confused because you sound like that and then you got the dreads and then you look like you're looking. And I think my music in general just confuses people because they expect me to look a certain way and sound a certain way. And I felt like, you know, we're not gonna do something just because I'm black and because that's what the world tells me that I'm supposed to do. This is who I am, it's who I was when I was three years old and it's who I'm gonna be when I'm 85 or 90 years old. That's kind of how I feel about it. What keeps me going is that the songs don't stop coming. <laughs> I keep hearing songs, I keep hearing voices singing to me, and I keep writing songs. If I ever run out of songs, then you probably won't see me playing anywhere. Lord, you know I'm a good and Lord, you know I'm a good girl. If you want to give me something, anything in this great world, Lord, you know like a record keeper wherever I go I see a story and these songs on this record are just telling stories. Mm -hmm. 